on this edition of Fulton at Work. Preparing for the municipal election for the new city of South Fulton. Do you know what council district you're in or if you're registered to vote? Well, Fulton's Director of Registrations and Elections is here with important information. I'm Jolene Butts Freeman and don't go anywhere because Fulton at Work begins right after the break. Welcome to Fulton at Work. I'm Jolene Butts Freeman. Now, in November 2016, residents in South Fulton voted to create their own city, and soon they will elect their first mayor and city council. Fulton County's Department of Registration and Elections will conduct a municipal election on March 21st, but there are other important dates and information you need to know right now. Richard Barron is the county elections director. Sir, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Sure. Well, so many people are seeing campaign signs in their South Fulton neighborhoods, but I understand at this point, anyone who wanted to run for an office in the new city had to have already qualified, is that right? Yeah, by January 13th, you had to go through the qualification process in order to run for one of the seven council member seats or the, mayor, the mayoral seat. So your team in the Fulton County Re Registration and Elections Office is conducting this election. With the vote just being in November, what did you have to do to get ready? Anything that we do for a normal election, we have to do for this one. We have to get the early voting polling sites lined up, the election day polling sites lined up. We have to recruit poll workers, train the poll workers. We have to get all the machines ready, do logic and accuracy testing, and get all the voter registration applications that we've collected since that election entered into the database. So, Mr. Barron, let's talk about the next important date, which is the deadline to register to vote in this municipal election. Who needed to register, and when do they need to register by? And the last question, where do they register? Any new voters need to register to vote, anyone that's moved to the county, anyone that has moved um, from another state into Fulton County, anyone that has is going to be turning 18 by then, also anyone that's changed their name, or moved within the county should re-register to vote. We have right now almost 50,000 applications to enter between uh, now and the election. We also, uh, the, the registration deadline is February 21st because the 20th is a holiday. Okay, of course Fulton has had great success with early voting, so will there be early voting for this election? And if so, when and where? We do have early voting f scheduled for this election. It will begin on February 27th. It will end on March 17th. Uh, the two locations that we have so far scheduled will be the South Annex and also the Wolf Creek Public Library. So those will be open 8.30 to 6. And on February 11th, on Saturday, it will also be open 11.30 to 6 at both locations. All right, sit tight for a moment, Rick. When we come back, we'll talk about how you can find your new council district in South Fulton. Stay with us. Welcome back. Today's Fulton at Work topic, the upcoming municipal elections for the new city of South Fulton. Richard Barron is our guest. He is Fulton County's Registration and Elections Director. Rick, before the break, we heard about early voting for the March 21st municipal election, specifically in South Fulton. Now let's take a look at the races on the ballot. There's a race for a mayor, and there is a race for seven city council races, rather. Will people be able to take a look at a sample ballot at some point of all the names or the candidates on the ballot? Yes, after qualifying, we submit all of the information to Kennesaw State University. They are the official ballot builder for the state of Georgia. And once they get through with all their work, we will proof it and then we will make sample ballots available. Okay, now because these are new district races, a lot of people may not be familiar on what district they're in. So we've asked one of the county's public information officers to show us how people can identify their districts. Take a look. 
Hi, my name is April Major, Senior Public Affairs Officer of Fulton County. If you live in the new city of South Fulton, do you know your council district? If not, I have good news for you. You will not have to visit one of Fulton County's election offices to find out. Instead, you can find out your district location online. Just visit the state's MVP page located at www.mvp.sos.ga.gov. Just register if you haven't already done so, follow the prompts, and you will soon know what council district you're living in. Now, of course, if you have questions, you can contact the Fulton County Department of Registration at 404-730-7072. Reporting for FGTV, I'm April Majors. Thanks, April. So people don't have to come downtown to check on their districts. They can do it straight online. That's very convenient. Yes, we like to make uh, things as convenient as possible for the voters in order to facilitate the ease of which they can vote. Now, Rick, on Election Day, March 21st, mm -hmm. will people know exactly where to go to vote? Yes, the, everyone in the South Fulton, new city of South Fulton will receive a precinct card in the mail. That will be coming soon. We are gonna follow that up with a head of household mailing. The head of household mailing will have the early voting locations on it, as well as the uh, polling site that is assigned to anybody that is registered to vote at that household in the new city of South Fulton. Okay, with so many people currently running in many districts, is it likely that there will be a runoff? And if so, is the runoff election day coming up soon? When, when exactly is that? The runoff is April 18th. We will likely have a runoff. We have multiple candidates in each of the races that have qualified, and so I and would be shocked if we don't have a runoff. Will you be able to conduct the election with the staff that you currently have, or will you need to bring in additional support? We will be bringing in a few additional temporary staff because we, at, in, in addition to the city of South Fulton election, we will also be conducting an election up in the city of Roswell. So we, we have um, many things to get ready between now and then, including those 50,000 plus voter registration applications to get entered. Rick, do you have any final thoughts for us? Well, I would just uh, tell, remind everyone, uh, voting early is, is easy and simple and convenient. And also, if you choose to vote on election day to know before you go, make sure you know where your polling site is. And that way, uh, when you get there, uh, voting will be simple for you. Well, Rick, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Yes. Now, of course, you can get all of the information you need on the upcoming municipal election at FultonElections.com. You can also visit the Secretary of State's website. We'll be right back. Stay with us. That's all our time today. Thanks for joining us for Fulton at Work. And a special thanks to our guests. We want you to connect with us online. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Jolene Butts-Freeman. We'll see you next time.